Kai Havertz scored a late winner as Arsenal beat Everton 2-1 at Emirates Stadium, but the Gunners fell short in the Premier League title race. Arsenal needed to win to stand any chance of beating Manchester City to the title, and for a long time it looked as though Mikel Arteta's side would not hold up their end of the bargain. The hosts even fell behind as Idris Agui opened the scoring in the first half, but take hero Tomi Yasu swiftly cancelled out that goal. A combination of the woodwork and some fine goalkeeping from Jordan Pickford then kept Arsenal at bay until the 89th minute, when Havertz tucked the ball in following Ashley Young's error. But with City beating West Ham in Manchester, the Gunners ultimately finished two points behind Pep Guardiola's team, who sealed an unprecedented fourth straight Premier League title. Arsenal were well on top early on, Tomi Yasu failing to direct a header on target after he was picked out by Declan Rice, who was subsequently denied by his England teammate Pickford. As news filtered through of an early goal for Man City against West Ham, Pickford was at his best to deny Gabriel Martinelli, who was in for the injured Bukayo Saka. Having weathered the storm, Everton almost took the lead on the half-hour mark, Dominic Calvert-Lewin seeing a crisp strike clatter the left-hand post. Yet Everton had their goal in the 40th minute, as Guy's free kick deflected off Rice and looped in beyond David Rea. Everton's advantage was short-lived, though, with Tomi Yasu atoning for his earlier miss as he lashed home from inside the area, with that goal coinciding with news of West Ham getting one back against Man City, and a huge roar of encouragement from the Gunners' faithful. Calvert-Lewin stung Raya's palms as Everton threatened on the counter, though the post came to the visitors' rescue when Havertz saw a header clip agonizingly off the woodwork. As City went 3-1 ahead, Arsenal kept pushing, Pickford making a stunning stop with his legs to deny a Degaard, with Amadou Onana blocking Emile Smith-Rowe's follow-up. Smith-Rowe rattled the crossbar in the 83rd minute, but Everton's resolve was finally broken when Young's pass was intercepted by Gabriel Jesus. Adegaard failed to connect properly with his attempt, but Havertz was on hand to finish. The goal was confirmed after a VAR check for handball by Jesus, but Arsenal's title hopes were still dashed, despite the electric atmosphere at the Emirates. It was fitting that Arsenal ended what has been a superb campaign on a high note, and they certainly had plenty of chances, having 26 shots in total, before Havertz finally got the job done. But competing against City is a gargantuan task, and Arsenal could just not get over the line in the end. Arteta will reflect on a fantastic season, and now the challenge is to somehow go one better next season. The atmosphere at full time was one of celebration, Arsenal's fans know just how close they came, but it was not enough. With Euro 2024, just around the corner England manager Gareth Southgate will be thrilled to see Pickford in such solid form. Only Golden Glove winner Rhea, with 16, has kept more Premier League clean sheets than Pickford, 13, this season, and the 30-year-old was excellent on Sunday. While he was beaten by Tommy Yasu's low shot, Pickford had already made smart stops to thwart both Rice and Martinelli, though his standout save was the one to frustrate Adega Art in the second half, and he was unlucky to be on the losing team. A defiant rendition of Spirit of the Blues from the 3,003 Everton Eons that packed out the away end at Arsenal's Emirates Stadium said everything you need to know. A controversial goal may have seen the Blues condemned to a 2-1 defeat late on in North London, ending the club's five-game unbeaten run but, after the natural disappointment of conceding in the closing stages, attentions amongst those travelling supporters turned to showing their appreciation for the players who had stood up to an unprecedented campaign to muster a 15th-placed finish after two separate points deductions. Idris Agonagai's deflected free kick had given the Toffees a first-half lead, an advantage that was quickly cancelled out by take hero Tomi Yasu strike. After a lengthy VAR referral, the title-chasing Gunners were eventually awarded an 89th-minute winner with Kai Havertz's close-range effort. Everton's season objective may have been achieved at the end of last month but there had been no sign of winding down from Deitch or his side in the build-up to this finale. The Blues boss picked another strong lineup here, the same, in fact, as the one that started the 1-0 home win over Sheffield United last time out. Speaking in his pre-match interview, 
Deitch called on his players to earn our own badge of honor with a match-winning display at the home of the Gunners, who headed into the clash knowing they needed to better Manchester City's result against West Ham United to snatch the Premier League title on the finish line. The hosts, as you'd expect from a side chasing down a first league crown in 20 years, came flying out of the blocks and dominated possession in the opening exchanges. The first sight of goal looked to have fallen to Tomiyasu less than three minutes in, only for Ghana to intervene with an excellent interception before the defender could get his shot away. Tomiyasu was presented with an even better chance moments later when, following a short corner routine, Declan Rice found the Japan international with an inch-perfect deep cross but the resulting header sailed harmlessly wide of the target and replay suggested he may have been in an offside position anyway. The intensity of the atmosphere inside the stadium was then dampened dramatically as news filtered through that Phil Foden had given Pep Guardiola City side an early lead against the Hammers. Everton, playing in all royal blue, manufactured their first opportunity soon after as Dwight McNeil forced a corner but, after the first delivery was cleared by Arsenal, James Tarkowski was flagged for offside on the follow-up cross. Arsenal threatened again when Gabriel Martinelli burst down the right flank before forcing Jordan Pickford into action with an excellent low save from a prodded effort. Captain Seamus Coleman was alert to the resulting danger and mopped up the rebound with the Arsenal attacker lurking to convert. Calvert-Lewin smashed a 20-yard free kick into an Arsenal wall as news of Foden's second strike of the afternoon to put City into a 2-0 lead further dampened the Gunners' spirits. Just as Deitch had promised, Everton were anything but passive opponents and the away end were enjoying several solid spells of possession, celebrating each pass with chance of ole. Just after the half-hour mark, the Toffees went closest yet to breaking the deadlock, as Amadou Onana's first-time pass sprung a counter-attack. Idrissa Gonagui carried the ball into Arsenal territory before picking out Calvert-Lewin, who squared up Gabriel and tried to catch out David Rea with a near-post shot that cannoned back off the frame of the goal. Everton's number 9 was first to the rebound but couldn't rearrange his feet quickly enough to direct his follow-up attempt on target. A surging Dwight McNeil run earned Everton another free kick in a dangerous position six minutes before the halftime interval, a set piece that would bring the game's opening goal. Ghana, an unlikely free kick taker, in truth, stepped up and his curling effort took a heavy deflection off Declan Rice in the wall, wrong-footing Rhea and leaving the Spanish goalkeeper helpless as the ball nestled into the corner of the net. It was a lead that wouldn't last long, though. Just four minutes later, Mikel Arteta's side restored parity when Tommy Yasu swept home Martin Adegaard's cut back from the right byline, and those home celebrations were prolonged with the discovery that West Ham United had have the deficit in Manchester. The second period began in a lower gear than the first half had ended. It took nearly 20 minutes for the first chance of no to be fashioned and when it came, it was created by Deitch's side. Ghana, once again instrumental in the heart of the Blues midfield, began another counter-attack and found Calvert-Lewin in the left channel, with the Everton striker drifting in field onto his favoured right foot and testing Rhea with a firmly hit drive that was well held. Arsenal responded by striking the woodwork at the other end, Havertz stretching to meet Martinelli's left-footed cross from the right flank with an improvised header before Captain Adegaard was flagged offside on the follow-up. The hosts went close again minutes later after an incisive move down the left was eventually worked to a well-placed Adegaard, who set himself before striking for goal, only to be denied by an excellent low stop from Pickford. Arsenal struck the frame of the goal again when another Martinelli cross found Emile Smith-Rowe, but the substitute drove his shot into the turf before clipping the crossbar on the way out of play for a goal kick. Arsenal eventually snatched a winner in the closing moments when Gabriel Jesus seized on a loose square pass from Ashley Young. Havertz eventually applied the finishing touch from close range and, following a VAR review, the goal was awarded despite replay suggesting it had struck Jesus' hand in the build-up. That would be the final action at the end of an unprecedented Premier League campaign that ultimately saw the Blues amass 48 points, before deductions. Arsenal fell just short in our hopes of winning the Premier League title but Kai Havertz's late goal ensured we ended a season to remember on a high by beating Everton. Despite having nothing to play for, 
the Toffees proved to be tricky opponents and took the lead through Idris Agui's deflected free kick, but we instantly replied when take hero Tomi Yasu found the bottom corner. Arsenal kept pressing for the goal that would give us any hope of the title and it came with a minute left through the German striker, but Manchester City's 3-1 win against West Ham meant that our result was immaterial as they collected a fourth straight league title. They finished just two points ahead of ourselves despite us hitting record hauls for wins and goals in the competition, and amassing 89 points, just one short of the Invincibles record 20 years ago. Arsenal's 89 points this season is our second most in a single Premier League campaign, after the 90 earned by the title-winning side of 2003-04. Everton lost their final Premier League game of the season for the 15th time, no side has done so more in the competition's history. William Saliba became the first outfield player to play every minute for us in a single Premier League campaign. Kai Havertz has become the fifth player to register 20 Premier League goal involvements, 13 goals, 7 assists, in his debut season with us after Thierry Henry in 1999-00, 25, Santi Cazorla in 2012-13, 23, Lucas Podolski in 2012-13, 20, and Alexis Sanchez in 2014-15, 24. Idris Agui's opener was the first direct free-kick goal we have conceded at home in the Premier League since Philippe Coutinho's strike for Liverpool in our opening game of the 2016-17 campaign. Jureen Timber made his second Premier League appearance, with the other coming in the opening game against Nottingham Forest. He's the fifth player in Premier League history to make just two appearances in a season with those coming in the first and last games, after Gary Gardner, 2012-13, Elliot Bennett, 2013-14, Marek Rodak, 2020-21, and Jizu Run Rak Sakai, 2021-22. A monumental Arsenal effort against Everton was in vain as the Gunners were condemned to another Premier League runners-up finish despite a 2-1 win over the Toffees at the Emirates. Needing all three points and a Manchester City slip up to dramatically pip Pep Guardiola's men to the post, the Gunners were far from their free-flowing best early on and conceded first to Idris Agui's deflected free kick. A take hero Tomi Yasu strike and late Kai Havertz winner turned the tide and saw Mikel Arteta's men do their job, but with Man City doing the business against West Ham United, the Gunners were left crestfallen again. Perhaps the worst news that Gunners could have received before kickoff, a minor muscular injury meant that there was no Bukayo Saka in the host squad, allowing Gabriel Martinelli to start on the right wing. Even without their top goal scorer, Arsenal took the game by the scruff of the neck immediately, but Tomi Yasu spurned a brilliant chance for 1-0 in the sixth minute, heading wide from Declan Rice's delicate ball to the back post. Not long after, the Emirates' atmosphere very quickly turned flat, not because of Tomi Yasu's miss, but news filtered through that Man City had taken the lead against West Ham United just two minutes in. Jordan Pickford was aiding the citizens' efforts too, firstly getting down low to save Rice's scuffed 12th-minute shot before reacting quickly to deny Martinelli, who had breezed past Gerard Branthwaite, four minutes later. As City doubled their lead, Arsenal could not wear down a compact Everton side, who had the game's best two chances through Dominic Calvert-Lewin in the 31st minute, the Englishman hit the base of David Raya's near post before his follow-up rippled the side netting. However, the back of the Spaniard's net would unexpectedly ripple in the 40th minute, as a guy free kick took a wicked deflection off the head of Rice and flew into the far corner past a flat-footed Raya. The £105 million man's blushes were spared just three minutes later, though, as Martin Adegaard got to the byline on the right and fizzed a ball into a crowded penalty box, which missed everyone but fell at the feet of an arriving Tomi Yasu, whose crisp first-time strike flew into the bottom corner. Tomi Yasu's equalizer preceded West Ham pulling a goal back at the Etihad, leading to a renewed sense of optimism around a rejuvenated Emirates, where the halftime whistle brought an end to the injury time chaos. Speaking of injuries, a coming together between Abdoulay Dukur and Gabriel Magal has saw the Arsenal man come off worse, he was visibly struggling with a shoulder issue and was replaced by Oleksandr Zinkenko. 
normal service had otherwise resumed, Arteta's men were coming up second best against a sturdy Everton back line, and Rea was forced into a terrific diving catch from Calvert-Lewin's 63rd minute curler. Arsenal's own tailizmanic attacker Havertz then headed, or shouldered, one of his own against the frame of the goal in the 67th minute, before Emil Smith-Rowe and Timber were brought on to rapturous applause. A combination of Pickford and Branthwaite then somehow kept Adegaard's close-range effort out in the 71st minute, and the ball just would not go in for Arsenal, Smith-Rowe was the next to hit the bar with a half-volley in the 83rd. However, the elusive second would finally arrive for the hosts in the 89th minute, as Ashley Young's poor pass was intercepted by Gabriel Jesus, who combined with Adegaard to set up Havertz for a close-range finish. The ball appeared to strike Jesus's arm in the build-up, but the goal stood after a check of the screen from Michael Oliver, as the Gunners ended another campaign of close yet no cigar in ultimately positive fashion. See you next season, thank you for watching this video.